In 2015 and 2016, two things came together. One is that almost everybody uh, at Paris agreed on the enormous consequences of climate change. Secondly, we see at the same time an urgency of the international security situation in different countries, but also geostrategically. And we see more and more, even if it's, if it's not digital, that there is a relationship between climate change and security. I've seen it myself when I worked in Mali, in northern Mali. You see the desertification as a result of, of uh, climate change, a result in scarcity, and therefore conflicts between different groups uh, of people that live there in very difficult circumstances. And that often leads to the importation of terrorism, of extremist groups who take advantage of this. It is an example of the relationship between security and climate change. And therefore those who think still, there are only a few, that they can deny the climate problem, and even if they're not interested in it, they might be interested in the security and migration part. We have to fix these issues together. And therefore it's important to get different disciplines, different politicians, and different countries together to move in very practical and operational terms on this different nexus between climate change and security.